The raw rating is in for the first two hour show in over 10 years and it's a little bit disappointing despite it being an improvement on last week. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling. WWE's first Raw rating since going back to two hours is in. It was the first time that Raw has been a two hour show since 2012 and obviously we know the story that the third hour brings down the rating. The third hour is the least watched hour every single week on Raw. I mean, it would probably take something magical like The Rock to be announced for the final third for the hour to go up. We know that's not the case, though, and it, do it does affect the overall rating because the third hour, it drags it down. So, uh, WrestleNomics made an article about a month ago, and they said that if you remove the final third hour from Raw, they would do 5% better. So, if Raw... Is get Raw would be getting like 5% more basically. So if you take away the third hour, it's between 5 and 6% more. So that's how much the third hour is dragging the show down. But this week proves that maybe Raw was a little bit disappointing then because this week Raw got a 1.545 million compared to last week's 1.516 million. Now, the show is up based on that rating. It's up 29,000. However, as a percentage, it's only went up 2%. And according to WrestleNomics, when they worked out the the average of the third hour, it was reported to be 5% more Raw would gain by dropping the third hour. However, we see here that they've only gained 2%. Now, that could be because maybe there was a good game of football on, Monday Night Football, or maybe it was just a poor episode of Raw. I mean, to be honest, it wasn't a great Raw. I remember watching it going, you know, there's nothing happening here after CM Punk. It was kind of downhill from there. So, yeah, look, it wasn't the greatest Raw, but it was projected to do more than 2%. It should have done 5%, which would have brought it up to about a 1.6. So, a little bit disappointing for Monday Night Raw, despite actually moving up in the ratings. And if you compare the key demo, this week did a 0 0.47. Last week did a 0 0.48. So last week's key demo was actually higher than this week's. The three hour key demo was higher than the two hour key demo. And that's disappointing when you factor in the third hour, you know, bringing down the rating. So it's slightly up for Raw in viewership. It's slightly down for Raw in the key demo. But I was expecting more. Raw going back to two hours. I was expecting to see a decent wee spike here in these ratings. And we just haven't seen it. So... Yeah, um, not the increase that we were expecting, not the effect that we thought going back to two would have. And if this is really going to be the case going forward, if Raw continues to, you know, not do substantial amounts more with just a two hour show, then I, I couldn't really blame them if they kept it at three. And if Raw doesn't improve under two hours, then maybe they will move SmackDown to three. If they can get an extra hour from the broadcasting company, if they can get an extra hour of advertisements and whatnot, if they can show another hour of wrestling and the rating doesn't really get hampered because of that, then, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they do make SmackDown a three-hour show. But this is only week one. I mean, I think we won't really be able to have a, a good comparison until we're at least a month in, maybe a few months in. It could just be a, a one-off week here. But uh, very surprising to actually see the key demo be down from last week. Especially when you factor in Raw went to a two hour show. Anyway, let's look at the clips. Let's see who has the highest feud fed. So, in first place, we have CM Punk leaves his WWE future uncertain and comes face to face with Seth Rollins, 491,000. So, Punk and Rollins drawing the most when it comes to the fuse. Then we have Braun Breaker unleashes a spear fest on Jey Uso, Kofi Kingston, and Shavier Woods, that's got 422,000. So yeah, Braun Breaker hitting spears. Looks like everybody wanted to see that. Third place, we have the full match. Gunther puts down Sami Zayn in the world title match. 388k. So um, yeah, every time we put a full match in the clips, it always seems to deliver. So Gunther, Sami Zayn, getting decent views there. Then we go into fourth place. It was Seth Freakin' Rollins. Wants to face Bronson Reed anytime anywhere in the raw highlights 340k there for seth rollins <laughs> Aye, so yeah he's laughing there uh fifth place we have a frustrated xavier woods sounds off on kofi kingston i got 
KFU's Austin 316 said I just whooped your ass uh, then it was Sheamus hits Pete Dunn with a brogue kick 216k followed by Jey Uso pins Xavier Woods in his first intercontinental title defence that's got 194k and that is it last place then we've got the women's match Lyra Falkyria scores the win in a chaotic 10 woman tag team match on Raw 186,000 views so the women's match in the end disappointing and less views on that than any other fit I'm not surprised that it was a jobber women's match and I just don't think women's wrestling draws if you want women's wrestling to draw then you know show us some nice looking women show us some attractive women but yeah just just looking at the clips here it does remind you of the divas era where the women literally get one match and they're all just thrown together that's what this looks like so interesting we'll see how they continue to book the women we know next week that there seems to be more uh, women on the show a lot more women on the show there's multiple women matches there's women segments as well so i don't know maybe they decided to make the live raw basically a men's show and then they're going to do more female stuff on the the tape show that we got for raw that could be a possibility but yeah the two hours mercedes money did say that two hours would hurt the women and based on week one i don't want to jump to conclusions here but i mean it does look like the women basically just got told all your time is going to go into the one match here so go out and enjoy yourselves and it did remind me of a big multi-woman divas match from back in the day where they just wanted to you know get everybody into one match one segment and get it over and done with so anyway guys there you go that's the numbers for raw slightly up in viewership slightly down in key demo but overall disappointing considering they did chop off an hour and it hasn't really improved the ratings that much. That's it guys, Fog Wrestling. Leave a like, leave a comment. Till next time. Peace.